Tonight, the tragic death of Emerson College student Dan Hollis has been ruled a homicide. And investigators are now asking for help finding the person who killed him. The sophomore suffered a brain injury after a fight last weekend. Julie McDonald is in Alston tonight with more on the investigation. Well, at least one neighbor woke to the sound of fighting, and the video that she then recorded from her window is just one piece of what's now a homicide investigation. The sound of men angrily yelling and swearing caught a teenager's attention early Saturday morning, but what she saw next out her Alston window prompted her to grab her cell phone. I saw three guys walk away um, yelling at them, and I saw a guy on the ground and he seemed really hurt. The altercation outside a party left Emerson student Daniel Hollis bleeding on the ground. He'd suffered traumatic brain injuries and passed away just days later. He was the type of kid where he could walk into a dark room and light it up instantly. Across the city at Emerson, that infectious smile shines on a theater marquee. Inside, a tribute Thursday to the sophomore and athlete whose life was really only beginning. To have his journey, becoming the person that he was meant to be, a cut short uh, is something that fills all of our hearts with grief. Back in Alston, it's the randomness of this tragedy on neighbors' minds as a homicide investigation unfolds. I could have known him. You know, he could have, he's so close to age, he's so close to exactly what I'm doing, what I'm studying, where I'm studying, and it feels very real when it's that close to where you are. Now, a lot of college students live in this neighborhood with many windows overlooking the sidewalk where Dan Hollis fell. Police hope that more witnesses may have information to help lead them to the other men involved. In Alston, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.